Welcome to Way of Fishing. We out here fishing these cold front conditions. It was 80 degrees the other day. Today is 54. Uh, water's dirty. Wind's blowing. Wind's not too bad though, which I'm very happy about. I got on crazy layers just in case. Pre-spawn bass is the game today. I have no finesse tackle with me. No finesse. Y'all heard that right. There's not a one, a single spinning rod on this boat right now. We is fishing for bass and big ones. Look at that. I just had a four pounder chase this chatterbait to the boat. Dang. I'm gonna have to fish back through here again. I figured that this little pocket would be something. Uh, that's the only strike I've had. I mean, that was not a little fish, but he didn't even look like he had his mouth open when he came up. I've covered a hundred plus yards of shoreline with this chatterbait and only gotten the one follow. And I think about it, that fish, when it came up, even though it was big, it didn't look like he actually opened his mouth or like it was just following the bait. So I'm thinking that the chatterbait may not be the bait to trigger these fish to actually bite right now. I do think I picked the right area of the lake um, after seeing that fish. There's no way that that fish is the only fish over here. I got wood, rock, depth, and a flat, and I'm in the sun, or what would be this, this area would, would have baked in the sun the last few days. So this is definitely a good place to be. Uh, so I think that there are fish here. I do think that they won't hit this chatterbait though. I think it's too shallow for the square bill. Yeah, I'm in leaves. Nothing to do with a square bill and leaves, man. It's just gonna dig into them and foul up every time. Even though I wanna throw the square bill, I gotta adjust. Doesn't matter what you want to do. If conditions dictate otherwise. So I'm back to this for now. There's a fish. It's not a little fish. Get the net free. All right, first fish on the chatter. Ah, nice weight to him. Nice weight to her. That's a fat old female right there, buddy. Okay. All right, all right. All right, all right, all right. All right, let's get it again. Let's catch us another one. All right, this fish appears to be pushing seven, eight pounds. No lie, no exaggeration. Came off! I just want to record this moment right now. I'm feeling a mix of wanting to cry. My eyes are actually watering up right now. And fury, I got it on camera. I just lost what probably was my PB bass. I just lost what looked to be an eight plus pound largemouth on a chatterbait. Got close to the boat, went underneath the kayak to the other side mid boat. I couldn't take the rod around the boat. I couldn't do anything. And it pulled off the hook. I'm sick to my stomach. Like I'm legit about to cry right now. Like my eyes are watering. Like I haven't hooked a fish that big and had to been three or four years. 
I mean, wait till y'all see this thing come out of the water. I'm sick. Missed another one. They're on this chatterbait now. At the boat. Get your monkey before you take my chatterbait. Sorry for the cussing. My nerves are still rattled from that other fish. Not a bad chain. Not what I'm looking for today. Retie. Okay. You see this flat bank? Not a lot of drop. So when I first started, I was fishing those same banks. I didn't get bit. Back here by the road is, I think, a little bit more depth. And I had three bites over there. Um, chain pick, lost the gargantuan bass, caught a three and a half, three and three quarter, and uh, had one other bite. Um, the temperature feels like it's dropped. My hands all of a sudden are um, painfully cold. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to switch gears. Instead of pushing back up this creek more, what I'm going to do is I'm going to tie on a flipping jig. I'm going to shoot across the lake because that bank's a little bit deeper. And I'm going to fish my way back around through that corner and then down the bank right here. And I'm going to refish water that I've already fished. Um, gosh, my hands really hurt. So take a break. Pause for the cause. Be back. Changing plans. This looks so juicy. I had to come over here. Had to use uh, words from trolling on the RVA. He says everything is juicy. But look at this. I had to come and throw over here a little bit. I really don't expect fish to be here after what I've hooked and all. But it just looks so pre-spawning. That's a fish. What the? Is that a bow fin? Tell me that's a bow fin. Hell yeah. That is a big bow fin. I tell y'all, I ain't never in my life caught a bowfin in this lake, and that's a big one. That is a big one. Great day. Never seen a bowfin in here. Oh, Lee, look at that thing. Good night. That's probably an eight pound grindle right there. Whew. Can't catch up to him.
Must be a big fish, a strip and drag. Got another big fish. I ain't had nothing little all day. What a day this is. Choke the chatterbait. Got it all the way down there. I'm gonna pull it out this way and cut it off. Talk about eating the bait. Great go. Yep, the weather changed. I got quite a bit more wind than I had earlier. Yep, weather changed. That sucks. That's the smallest fish of the day. And this tube, look at that short, fat, little freaky deaky. That is a freakishly short, fat fish. Butter ball. They want the chatterbait. They don't want anything else. And they're fighting when I hook them. They ain't giving up. Got another one. Big one. This is a big fish. Today is the day of giants. I mean, dang. One fish under three pounds all day? Come on, bruh. Look at that. Even though I lost the mamma jamma, even though I lost the hoss of the day, I ain't caught a little fish today. Not a, even the pike and the bowfin were big. The bowfin was ginormous. It was probably two pounds off of citation. I have never caught a bowfin in this lake. I'm playing hooky from work one day this week. Let it warm up for two, three days straight. I ain't going to work. Sorry, Buck. What's up, y'all? I'm going to go ahead and end the video. Um, the weather has definitely taken a turn. I'm getting cold. My feet and my hands are uncomfortable. I'm 
gonna go underneath the bridge. I'm gonna fish my way back to the truck. I'll probably leave the camera on until the battery dies, but I didn't wanna I didn't wanna forget to do an outro because I keep forgetting to do the outros. So today was a great day and a horrible day. Hell of a heartbreak losing that gigantic fish. That was I don't understand how a fish that big cleared the jumped out of the water. That was an absolute monster of a fish. Uh, on a chatterbait. Everything I got was on a chatterbait today. Uh, didn't get anything on a jig or crankbait through those. The water's too dirty for the big swim bait and that sort of thing. But I did bring it. That's actually everything I brought with me. And I ended up catching fish on one rod. But that's why I bring them all because I don't know what's going to work. So shout out to all of you guys that were in my live stream earlier. But like I said, I'm cold. So I'm going to go on and head back to the truck because I'm rambling now. And I'm going to keep fishing. But thank you for watching my way of fishing. And get out there and fish your way. Smallest fish of the day right there. Little male. Little buck bass. Goodbye. You are not up to snuff.